Hey there, my name is Andy Ma. I'm the founder of Stunning.com. We're about to grow ahead and grow to $1 million per year. We have 35 plus employees all over the world and I have absolutely nothing to sell you. I'm just here to go ahead and talk about my journey to seven figures, to 10 figures, to a billion dollars. And I just wanna share all the things that I've learned throughout the journey. And in this video, I'll be sharing what I've learned when it comes to being a persuasive leader. Very important. Let's jump right into today's video. So when you are a leader, you don't want to be a friend for a subordinate. Never approach him in an easy, friendly way or act if you are on the best of terms. This is very important because if you're too friendly to an employee, they're going to really take advantage of that. They're going to think they could slack off. They're going to think that they can make mistakes and it's okay because you're their friend. So you definitely don't want to make this mistake early on. Next is you want to keep things vague and simple. Your initial speeches, conversations, and interviews must include two elements. One, the promise of something great and transformative, and two, total vagueness. So these are things I learned from something called the 48 Laws of Power. I am skeptical about the book, um, but there are some interesting tips that I do want to share. I might not personally use this, use the 48 Laws of Power, but a lot of them can come in handy in certain situations. Next is you want to stimulate all kinds of hazy dreams and your listeners will make their own connections and see what they want to see. So for example, studying.com, our goal is to become the next Facebook, the next YouTube, Instagram, but for education, creating the best environment and opportunity for all our employees. So this is something that's vague and all my employees can make their connection on what they believe that means and how that ties into them. Because if you make it too direct, you're gonna turn off certain employees that don't align with that. Next is you wanna emphasize the, the visual and the sensation. Surround yourself with luxury, dazzle your followers with visual splendor, fill their eyes with spectacle. When I was starting my education company, it was strange. When I was that humble person that was just really nice, I only posted videos of me traveling, I didn't have any luxury, it was weird. My clients, my team members took advantage of that. They thought that I was not successful. They would be scared and they would listen to the girl with the Lambo, with the Rolex. And it sort of makes sense because I'm subconsciously gonna listen to the person with the Rolls Royce versus the person with the Mercedes, just because I think this person is more successful because he has the nicer things even though the person with the Mercedes could still be more successful. It's sort of part of human nature. As a result, I started sharing more and more of my lifestyle. No, I did not go ahead and buy things that I did not want. I just sort of kept doing what I enjoyed doing, but just shared it more often to really show that, hey, I'm living out the dream that I strive for. I'm not trying to sell you guys something that I haven't personally achieved. And I think that's sort of why you need to sort of dazzle your followers and employees. By surrounding yourself with luxury, you become living proof of the soundness of your belief system. Next is disguise your source of income. You must never be seen as hungry for money. Always disguise the source of your income. Never reveal that your wealth actually comes from your followers' pockets. Instead, make it seem like it comes from the truth of your methods. Now, this is super duper evil. Like, this is something I was like, whoa this is from the 48 laws of power this is something that a lot of gurus do where they do say something like amazon fba then they teach amazon fba they say that they've got their lambo thanks to amazon fba but they got it from selling a course about how to do amazon fba to their followers hence with this channel i have nothing to sell you guys like i'm documenting my journey to grow my education company studying.com to seven figures, eight figures, nine figures per year, and just giving you guys free knowledge. And I don't need your money. Like my education company attracts high end clients, not through YouTube, through our advertising strategies, through our social medias like Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram. And on top of that, we don't rely on sort of organic traffic. We use paid media and we attract cold traffic people who are looking to join our education company and learn from studying.com and learn how to go ahead and start their business or learn to come on to just 
become an instructor and teach other topics. But I think the reason why this rule is important is because if you go ahead and reveal everything, it, re it removes the mystery and you're going to then go ahead and your market share is going to go from 100% down to like 50% because the other 50% were like, oh, I thought the money you're, you're making came from Amazon FBA. Now I don't want to pay for your Amazon FBA course anymore. And the second reason is if your followers knew that your lifestyle came from their money, they'll, they'll stop being your followers. There's envy. Like that's sort of why I feel like YouTubers who rely on their audience, it's like a crutch. Hence this YouTube channel is just completely for fun. Like I'm just here documenting all the key lessons I learned to not only one, give you guys value, but two, solidify it in my brain. Three, make an amazing piece of content that I could later look back on. And four, document my journey throughout this life of mine. That's sort of why I make these videos, not to make money from you guys. Next is you need to create an us versus them sort of culture. To keep followers united, you must do what all religions have done. Create us versus them dynamic. As you saw earlier, I just sort of done that. And what I did was like, hey, we're here to just give you guys free high level content and value for free. Whereas other gurus are trying to sell your course, upsell you something, upsell you their one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have time to do one-on-one -on -one with you. And I'm creating an us versus them culture. And as a result, you guys are gonna wanna follow me because I'm preaching condition free value. Whereas I'm saying, hey, don't follow those gurus who are trying to sell you something. You wanna make your followers feel like they're part of an exclusive club, unified by a bond of common goals. So, you know, I'm here saying that, hey, if you guys watch my videos, you're gonna get free value and you're gonna, and we're gonna only attract people who can see good value when they see good value. And they're not there to watch the 10 hot products for September. And you wanna strengthen this bond, manufacture the notion of a devious enemy out to ruin you. This is something I haven't done, but I guess all these dropshippers that do get a lot of views, they're the enemy because they're like teaching a bunch, like hundreds of thousands of people, something that they don't personally do. Next is symbols. Always find a symbol to represent your cause. It's more emotional association. The, the more emotional association, the better. Symbols, pictures speak a thousand words, whereas it, it just, it's better than words. But yeah, those are things that you can go ahead and use to be a persuasive leader. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video. And on that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.